angry guy here, and black women are shocked that black men won't date or marry them as password bros leave. Get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. So black women are shocked that black men won't date or marry them as password bros leave. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the first video. Are you hearing yourselves like, do you like women? What exactly is the tactic here? To beat down the self-esteem of all women collectively so that we have no choice but to lower our standards and accept your low effort slash mediocre love attempts. I never said that men don't approach me when I go out. I was putting on a pattern or behavior I was seeing at a party that I was at that I feel like is more representative of the average NYC man. Dingy men are a huge ick, so we are immediately not compatible. Reading through the comments in that last video, you guys sound pathetic. Why would any woman date you? Like being told off rip that you have zero desire to put in the effort to make any romantic connection work. Like you don't want to show interest by buying a drink. What is wrong with you? Who raised you? Like why do you think that's a good thing to admit on the internet? Like why go to parties then? What was the point of getting dressed? That particular party was not free. So why would you pay for a ticket? To As a man hearing these questions, if your mind immediately jumps to I'm accusing you of being gay, then you just don't have the critical thinking skills required to like meaningfully engage in this discussion. Because it goes beyond buying drinks, it really just communicates that in a relationship, you are not willing to do the things that you know will make your partner happy or feel desired. And fear of rejection, like, be fucking for real. You know who has a real reason to fear rejection? Women. Like, we can literally die over a man's ego. Get some confidence and figure it out, because insecure men are literally a danger hazard for women. I've had a man literally chase me down the street and try to throw water bottles at my head simply because I didn't respond to a compliment that he gave me because I was walking down the street with headphones in. That is something to be scared of. So guys, I want y'all to understand something. You know, first off, whatever she's saying right there about the whole water bottle incident, don't believe any of that. Because a lot of there, usually there's two sides to every story. And in many cases, they make up a lot of things as they go along. They fabricate a lot of things or they leave out a lot of details. The fact of the matter is that men are walking away from Western society. They're choosing not to get into relationships. They're choosing not to date. They're choosing not to have children in Western society. And if you look at how toxic these responses are from a lot of these young ladies, it's basically me, 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 me. What can he do for me? He hasn't done enough for me. You're not spending enough money on me. You're not focusing on me enough. You're refusing to speak to me. You're refusing to come up to me. You're refusing to date me. You're refusing to buy me stuff. You're refusing to make me happy. Like, it is literally about me, 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 me. She doesn't talk. She doesn't ever talk about what can she do to make her partner happy? What can she do? What is she offering? What is she bringing to the table? But of course, they are taught and conditioned to believe that they are the table. And, you know, this is she somehow modern women believe that by putting these videos online, that's going to inspire more men, specifically black men, to have relationships with them, to approach them, to date them to want to spend their hard-earned money on them and of course you know women don't view money as hard-earned they just view it as money so it's either you have it or you don't have it they don't care how hard you work for it they don't care how hard you've grinded for it they don't care about your journey they don't care about you it's literally do you have the money either you have it or you don't either you're spending it on them or you're not spending it on them if you're not, then you're a broke boy. Even if you're a millionaire and you won't spend it on them, you're still a broke boy. Because if you had it like that, you'd be spending it on them. This is the mindset that these modern women have. Or they question your sexuality immediately. They, they go after you in every possible way they can. And then these are the same women that say that men don't know how to express their emotions and can't and won't open up. Guys, if you can't see this, I always describe it as functional insanity. And no one can, at best, you know, and no one can really contradict me that they are functionally insane at best. Because wh why would any man in their right mind jump into a relationship with someone who literally resents you? Like they don't like you. They don't want to have anything to really do with you other than taking advantage of you to, you know, wasting your time, you know, your attention, your time, your money. I mean, and they know 
they really know what's up and they try to act like you know if you don't approach them if you're in, you're insecure and if you're insecure that's a danger that's a red flag because a man's ego is a danger to a woman so wait a minute so wait, i don't understand so if a man doesn't have any ego at all and he just basically becomes a herbivore man that just walks away then that's a danger to women if he's a man who is who, who is who is aggressive that's also a bad guy so basically, what do you want? What women really want is men not to exist anymore. And like I said, that like I said, even when men would not exist, even if men, there were no more men on the planet, guys, the wailing and the carrying on that you would literally hear these women doing, the absolute levels of insanity that they would go on with. And of course, they would be blaming men from the beginning of time to the end of time, claiming that society was never built for women. And that's the reason why they're not able to maintain it. And that women should have been in the lead from the very beginning. And, you know, it, we were they were destined for failure from the, from the get-go because God should never have made Adam first or he should have made Adam different. Adam should have been ordered to submit to Eve and be a helper to Eve. My gosh, but of course, man should also remain accountable for everything that you know happens because you know that's not the place for that's not the place of women, guys. This is the reality, this is the modern day reality for men where women do not see us as human beings, they only see us as objects to be used, to be drained, and then discarded when they are done. This is this is how men are viewed and have been viewed for, for, for forever by women as disposable absolutely disposable. I mean, we don't live in an era anymore where, you know, men are limited in supply. Because for example, you know, if all the men vanished from a village, you know, back in the day, that was it. You know, what were the women going to do? Either they were not going to be able to survive or, they, you know, there were going to be some guys who came along and picked them up and they would take who they wanted and, you know, they would delete those that they didn't want. And that's how it worked back in those days. You go back to like the Viking days. Those were hard times. But now, you know, there's a surplus of men. In other words, there's a lot of men. So women take advantage of that because our 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 income, our wealth, it is redistributed to women through the state. So they feel like, oh, well, there's men, you know, we can get their the access to their capital without having without needing them. Or, you know, for example, we have police officers, we have members of law enforcement, so they feel like, okay, so we're protected, even though men, we don't have an individual man for ourselves, you know, we still have that. But here's the thing, things are falling apart in Western society. More and more men are leaving law enforcement. Like, the, the, like the, the field of law enforcement is absolutely shrinking. New York, so, like, I mean, they're gonna, New York is going to have the lowest levels of police officers officers on the streets since the 1990s like that is absolutely frightening the 1990s in in the in New York was absolutely terrible i mean like i'll tell y'all i have never seen so many homeless people as like i i saw in New York back in the 80s and 90s the 80s were frightening days man frightening days you would go to like the emergency room and there would just be homeless people in all of the emergency rooms and they would smell so bad. And as a little kid, I was like, just so frustrated. Cause like, like I'm thinking my mother's bringing me to this place. Like, why am I going here? And it's like, they just act like it's like the boomers were so corrupt because they acted like it was just so normal. Like this type of environment is so normal. Like, come on, man. I understand like life is not easy, but I'm telling y'all. So for those of you that did not grow up in like in New York or in, these terrible places, like I, I know Philadelphia had to have been a horrible place or Chicago, bro. It's a bad New York is a horrible place. It was a horrible place. This is why I always tell y'all, like you know, you see these little see these little jokers running around from Atlanta and other places like that, and they think that they're hard. But come to New York, and it's a whole different thing. Like New York is a very very difficult difficult place, and. It's like I bring that up because I want you all to understand just how miserable this world can be and how tight this world can be. And when things collapse around us, you know, women, they're not going to be able to make it through this. What's coming, the hardships, you know, def you know, we're looking at, you know, inflation, the, va the value of money is deteriorating. They're not going to be able to handle this. They're not going to be able to pay those bills. They're not going to be able to survive. You've got to be kidding me. And, you know, they still need they need men more than ever now to subsidize their living and men are gone. 
and black women are shocked that black men won't date them or marry them as pastor bros are leaving and going to greener pastures and you know and and moving and moving on when you look at the rate of white people marrying white men specifically white men marrying asian women 25 percent of all marriages between white with between white men and another group are between white men and asian women even though Asian women make up like only 8.2% of the marriageable population. So that should just like tell you how insane it is. Like there's an overrepresentation right there where you can literally see that men are completely moving away from women of their own ethnicity. And when it comes to black women, they're throwing a lot of shade, bad attitudes, just lots of disrespect towards these black men. And you don't realize that these black men are like, okay, See Felicia, we're done with this. Goodbye. We don't need this. You know, we we have we've have enough. We've had enough grief and stress in our lives. They don't get. They really don't understand. Like these men are moving on, moving on without them, and they're not looking back. Some of them do get it, and that's why they're running overseas and trying to chase these men overseas. These men are trying to get, trying to avoid them, and these women don't want to accept that these men don't want you. These men don't want to have a relationship with you. They want to go on. They're moving on, and you know they're trying to avoid you and start a new life with a Filipino wife. You know, or 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 a Latina, and these and these do and these ladies, these mams, they just can't accept that because they really have not, they really don't have anyone or anything, and you know they'll they'll literally go overseas, follow these men while acting like, oh, I'm not here for you. What you think I'm here for you? I'm not here for you. But then they start hanging around these dudes. They start following these dudes everywhere they go. Start trying to like chase these black men down. Like like like, oh, I'm not here for you. This is a big country. This is a big country. Like, bro, why are you following these men all around the place? And these men are out there with their girlfriends and, and, and wives, and y'all are chasing these men around. Because realistically, you know, of all the races, when it comes to, you know, statistically with black women, they are the, they are the, group, they are the group of people least likely to marry outside of their ethnicity. Why is that? It's because of their behavior. It's because of their behavior. It's because of the kinds of men that they're looking for. They're specifically looking for for Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, you know, Enrique, and these you know, and these types of men. So they're not. So when it comes down to it, it's like these women are kind of between a rock and a hard place. And the, you know, after they get pregnant, after they have children, Tyrone's children, they want a black man to come in and clean up that mess and subsidize their living and take care of the spawn of Pookie. And it's not happening anymore. So now they're fleeing overseas, trying to follow these men, thinking that they're going to go and torment these men into back into a relationship. And they don't seem to understand that, like, bro, you're in another man's country now. You need to leave these men alone, ma'am. You need to go and, you know, go find Jesus or something. But, you know, you need to you really need to move on because these men are not they're not moving in your direction. Guys, get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. What do you guys think regarding everything we discussed here today? Black women are shocked that black men won't date or marry them as password bros leave. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and men walking away. And cheer.